I'm headed for nothing, I'll turn into something from nothing, yeah. Made it through poverty, I'm not minority, you in the store. Hop on the jet on my property and fly away. Fly, fly, fly away. Hey y'all, welcome back to Keto Delicious Nest. Y'all, today we got um, some keto fried uh, salmon croquettes and we got hearts of palm fried rice. So this is my first time frying the heart, hearts of palm rice like a fried rice. I got green onions. I'm going to put more green onions on there and some, uh, and some eggs in there. So let's say our grace and get into this mukbang. Thank you, look. Thank you, Lord, for this mail that I'm about to receive. Thank you for everything you're doing in my life and bringing in my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So, hopefully y'all can see everything up there. We about to get into this. I got a, a gravy on top and I got some on the side. And I have made a concoction of like um, sour cream, uh, sweet chili sauce, and the two times spicy sauce. Because I was going to use that. So, I might do a little bit of both. But... We about to go on and get into this right here. So I'm gonna do, um, try it with a little bit of the gravy. I already know the gravy good. Y'all see that? It looks so bomb. That's very good. Very good. Mm. Mm. And I cooked this outside because I didn't want my house thinking. Mm. It's really good with that. I didn't know if I was in the mood for gravy or something cold. So, I have both options. Nana was over here making her some um, baked chicken tenders for her meal prep. And I'll just use the dripping from her chicken and made me a gravy. <laughs> so, I put mushrooms and onions in it. Nana doesn't even like hearts of palm right? She said this was very good and the gravy set it off, so. But this is very good. I don't know, somebody probably gonna ask, but you can get the hearts of palm um, rice off of Amazon and my description is highlighted at um, in my Amazon store. And then, or you can go straight to their um, website, hearts of palm. I'm sorry, it's heavenly, what is it? <laughs> I had to look it up. I'll put it right here. But y'all have seen me eat it so many times. Mm, mm, mm. This is really good. It's my first real, real meal of the day. Earlier, I had some um, turkey meat that I got from Sam's Club. It's this good turkey meat. I'm gonna make a rail with some of the stuff I get get at Sam's. But they got a good turkey meat. It's called pepper, black pepper turkey or something. I don't know, but I love it. I even put it on my salads. But um, and my grandson was eating it. He was taking the the black part off around the back, back. But he like I like turkey, so 
it was good. But I had that. And I had like literally this piece. It's probably long of a piece of cut the car bread. I toasted that up. Um, put me some um, turkey meat on it with some pickles and some mayo. So I ate that around four o'clock. That was my first meal of the day. And now this. So this is technically my first real meal. Mm -hmm. And speaking of cut the carb, I appreciate them so much because whenever I eat something, actually, the other day I had ate a chicken sausage with a piece of cut the carb bread and posted it in my story on Instagram and they inbox me. They always inboxing me. They always up under my post, even if it's not post about their products. Like they liked the post with Dior the other day that I put on there. Um, but they sending me a 24 pack. They said just for always, you know, and this the second time sending me free products, so. Shout out to Cut the Carbs. They social social media team really be on it. Cause it ain't just me. I see them under uh, uh, under I see them under a lot of different content creators that, you know, kind of do keto and things of that nature. So I doubt if it's just me that I know it's not just me that they follow all like that you know they are very responsive of you know responding to people's texts and putting them in their dms and everything so so i appreciate cut the carbs hearts um natural heaven that's the name of these noodles i made the rice but that's where i get my noodles too they've never sent me free products and i use they stuff <laughs> i buy by the case okay So they have reposted me here and there. And I think they may have said something once or twice. But, you know, it really be free pro promo for them, but it be social media people trying to get them to recognize them as well. So it's kind of like a catch 22. appreciate that and um card manager they've been dm dming me and you know talking to me up under my post and i need to get back i've been doing really kind of good re real good i've been actually doing very good i did go on a date last night and i ate bread and truffle fries but when i say i think my our dinner date wasn't our reservations wasn't until 8 30. so mind you we really didn't eat till about nine and that was the first thing i had ate i was just drinking water i had a drink before our dinner so, I and I had a lobster roll and truffle fries. <laughs> so, I knew I wasn't going to eat the cleanest. But it was a nice restaurant that I've been wanting to go to for years. So, not years, I'm sorry, but for months because they just opened. But they have them in different places. So, they may have it somewhere that you may be if you're 
but not in Cleveland. I don't know why my camera look like it's tilting. I think it was, so y'all might have been like this the whole time. My fault. <laughs> but yeah. Um it's called RH. It's a rooftop bar. So I know they got one in Columbus, I think North Carolina. I don't know. But the food was amazing. And they had these chocolate chip cookies, y'all. And they had like a salt on them. It was kind of like a salted caramel, but I ain't taste no caramel, just chocolate. And it had some salt. Mm, mm, mm. But I had a very good date. And I was telling um, Nene that she gave me some real good advice as far as business and not cheating myself. Because I have done that for too long. <laughs> And it was a valuable lesson. And it's good when you can be around people and always get a, a good nugget from them. Getting good information that it lasts a lifetime. So I appreciate that. And that's not the first time he gave me something. I told him that last night. Something that I never forget that I carry with me all the time. So, it's good to listen and get something that you need. Because we all need it sometimes. But it was a very good day. So, yeah, if y'all got an RH by y'all, Definitely try it out. Y'all, this food was good. Y'all see? <laughs> I was hungry. I was hungry. And this is good. Salmon croquettes is so good in the morning. I like them cold straight out the refrigerator. <laughs> I eat it just like that with some hot sauce or something. Yep. And I don't know if I told y'all, but I made these keto style. So what I did is when you make your um, salmon croquettes, which I think I got a video. I'll be making them keto before on my channel. I don't know. I might have a reel. But either one, I'll try to put it in the description or some kind of way if I got it. But you make it, oh, I just got one of the mushrooms out that gravy. It was so good. Mmm. That's good. But, um, <laughs> look, I done got back in my plate. <laughs> um, what was I saying? So you use all the same products, your bell peppers, your onions, your one egg to each can of salmon croquette. And usually what I use when I wasn't keto is flour and I would put cornmeal on the outside of mine. Some people like it. I like it because it gave it a, a texture, like a crunchy taste. But sometimes I would make it without the cornmeal. But of course, I can't use that with keto. So, a binder is mayonnaise. Excuse me. So, a good um, keto mayonnaise is Duke's. And I love Duke's. It's very good. It has no sugar in it. And they got a good keto 
My name is at Trader Joe's. I'll try to remember to take a picture of it and put it in here too. But it doesn't have any sugar and it's good. And I got Dukes, but I didn't use it. I only have it a little bit. So I used the Trader Joe's brand. So I put that in there. And I had got these breadless breadcrumbs from um, Aldi's. I don't see them all the time, but you know, in their specialty section, they had these um, breadless breadcrumbs. So they're not totally keto, more low carb. So I use that too to help bind it. So sometimes you got to keep playing with the ingredients, add more or add less, you know, to get it to bind good. Sometimes it still falls apart a little bit, but you're going to get you some few good ones out of there. But it's less than low, it's lower carb because you're not using uh, the flowers and things of that nature. So, but yeah. So, but I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm full. This was really good. Y'all see, I demolished all three of my patties. <laughs> I did not come to play. Mm -mm. And I ate most of my rice. It's just a little bit here. So, that was really good too. But I hope y'all enjoyed this. Let me know if there's anything else that y'all would like to see me. I always ask y'all that. But y'all don't tell me if it's some keto things that y'all want to see. Well, actually, I take that back. Somebody did say that they want me to um, do a, a show y'all how to make ma uh, the cauliflower mash. And somebody else asked me something else. I got to go back through my comments. I need to start making a note of that because y'all do be telling me. Eh? I got a lot going on <laughs> and I'll forget, so... But yeah, so I'm going to have to go back and look. So y'all have been telling me. But anyway, I love y'all so much. And until next time, keep it key delicious. Peace. Bye, y'all. I'm headed for nothing. No turn of the sun to from nothing. Made it through poverty on our minority, you know the story Hop on the jet on my property and fly away Fly, fly, fly away Call me a president, yeah Straight out of the trenches, yeah, yeah. My niggas can't whip me, yeah The riches, the riches, the riches, yeah Rich niggas, I was on six, yeah All of these hoes can't with it, yeah All them hoes get a game beat